mythology. For today, I'm going to share insights about creation of the universe according to Greco mythology. Well, it is referred from a 3,000-year-old book called Theogony, written by Hesion. He was thought to have existed sometime between 800 to 600 BCE. He was a prolific writer. Scholars agree that he was a real person. He was the son of immigrant to the Greek peninsula and was a shepherd for a time. But the man claims that while doing his shepherding, he was visited by the muses and they convinced him to become a poet. By the way, muses are the daughters of Zeus in Nemosin. Greeks believe that they are inspired of creation of all art and music. Wanna hear the whole story about it? Let's get started! In the beginning, there was chaos, a yawning nothingness. Out of the void emerged Gaia, the Earth, and other beings like Eros, Love, Abyss, the part of Underworld, and Erebus, the unknown place where death dwells. Without male assistance, Gaia gave birth to Uranus, the sky, who then fertilized her. From that union, the first titans were born, six males, named Coeus, Creus, Cronus, Hyperion, Lapetus, and Oceanus. And six females were Nemosin, Phoebe, Rhea, Theia, Themis, and Tethys. After Cronus was born, Gaia and Uranus decreed to no more titans were to be born. Cronus castrated his father and threw the severe genitals into the sea, from which arose Aphrodite, goddess of love, beauty, and sexuality. Cronus became the ruler of gods with his sister wife, Rhea, as his consort. The other titans became his court. Because Cronus had betrayed his father, he feared that his offspring would do the same. So each time Rhea gave birth, Cronus snatched up the child and ate it. Rhea hated this and tricked him by hiding only child, Zeus, and wrapping a stone in a baby's blanket so that Cronus ate the stone instead of the baby. When Zeus was grown, he fed his father a drunk drink which caused Cronus to vomit, throwing up Rhea's other children and the stone. Zeus then challenged Cronus to war for a kingship of gods. At the last, Zeus and his siblings, the Olympians, were victorious, and the titans were hurled down to imprisonment in the abyss. Zeus was plagued by the same concern as his father had been, and a prophecy that his first wife, Metis, would give birth to a god greater than he. He swallowed Metis, but she was already pregnant with Athena, and they both made him miserable until Athena, the goddess of wisdom, civilization, and justice, burst from his head, fully grown and dressed for war. Zeus was able to fight off all challenges to his power and remain the ruler of Mount Olympus, the home of the gods. One son of Titans, Prometheus, did not fight Titans against Zeus. He was spared imprisonment. He was given the task of creating a man. Prometheus shaped man out of mud, and Athena breathed life into the clay figure. Prometheus made man stand upright as the gods did and gave him fire. Prometheus tricked Zeus, and to punish him, Zeus created Pandora, the first woman of stunning beauty, wealth, and a deceptive heart, and lying tongue. He also gave Pandora a box she was commanded never to open, but eventually, her curiosity got the best of her, and she opened the box to release all kinds of evil, plagues, sorrows, and misfortunes and also hope, which lays at the bottom of the box. The only one similarity that I see in Greek's creation and biblical creation is that they are both ex nihilo type of creation. These are myths that describe creation as coming out of nothing. Ex nihilo creation stories are common in ancient Near East. The Mediterranean world where Arabic religious like Judaism, Christianity, and Islam originated. Mythology. Aside from they are both type of ex nihilo, everything is different. 
in the biblical perspective, there is only one perfect God, a God who is perfect in love. He created everything out of love without imperfections, unlike the Greek creation where selfishness is ruling, cruelty and evil are major theme. Chronology. chronology. The English word chronology refers to the order of events in time. It is also related to chronic, which is generally something that persists for a person's lifespan. Both have Greek words origin in the story of Cronus, the time of God. Hermaphrodite. The word hermaphrodite refers to a person or animal that exhibits physical characteristics of both genders. It comes from the myth of the Greek god Hermaphroditus, son of Aphrodite. Next, we have Atlas. The English word Atlas means a book of maps, and it comes directly from a Greek myth, heliotrope. A heliotrope is a kind of plant that turns toward the sun to gather more light. Its name comes from the Greek titans Helios, who controlled the rising and setting of the sun. Music in the English language, music means sound arranged intentionally to be beautiful and harmonious. This comes directly from the Muses, Greek goddesses of arts and science. One lesson that I foresee in the story is that never look at yourself as the best. Accept that there could be someone who would be greater than you. Embrace the will of life for at times you could be on the top. And at times, you could be on the bottom. Mythology. Violence is used as a necessary tool in order to obtain and preserve power by gods and humans alike. So that's it for the Greeks and Titans creation story. Hope you enjoy it. Bye! Mythology.